And I just got done making a real boring 10 minute video watching this radar, Radex radiation detector. I just wanted to see if there's anything um, weird going on in the Organite device that I made that was targeted. And uh, this video is going to be way shorter. It was boring. I actually found that it, there was barely any compared to surrounding radiation. But you can get a really nice shot in this light of these rectangular slits I keep talking about on this crystal. See how flat it is? It's like it disintegrates, it's like it melted. Where did the rest of it go? It's like it was vaporized. I made sure every crystal was had two points. Shattered. Me. So I just wanted to get a better shit out of that and just see if what was going on. And these are pretty strong glasses because whatever, whatever did this did not break this glass, did not melt this wire that I can see. The Rolo pad stayed intact. This crystal got melted. That's how you know when you're pissing someone off. So that's why I put them in the little box now. <laughs> Travel light. They're portable that way though. They're kind of neat. You take them wherever and just open up the lid of the box. I think they work better in the ground. They work pretty well. Just flip open the lid. Miles Johnston had a guest on the other day discussing Oregon energy and some really interesting stuff they're doing with burying seeds within plates. They're putting GMO seeds inside plates, burying them, and they're coming up non-GMO. They're coming up like the Aboriginal prehistoric style plant because the Oregonite is actually changing the structure somehow. These are very powerful devices. I'm going to work on making something lukewarm <laughs> that you can have around the house. Because, you know, just having crystals by you, you do feel good. Um, what we're doing here is something new. And these are meant for outside use only, okay? This isn't your cute little jar that you put at your desk. These are cloud busters. Sue Ortiz, signing off.